Well, Wardy, that was a strange game because at points we thought the point might be a good result and then you get yourselves ahead and then the last minute equalised. What's, what were your thoughts? Must be frustrating in the end. It certainly is frustrating, but I think we, we need to be, a, be realistic with it. So we played 120 nights on Tuesday. Energy levels are obviously going to be a lot lower. So first half was disappointing. We, we didn't get going at all. Second half, we, we actually got going. It's as if we needed uh, the first half to get the... the tiredness out of our legs and a little chat in the changing room at half time and, and, and it, it, well the lads obviously come out and, and performed and like I say we could easily have took three points in the, in the second half. With the introductions of Alex Troke and Chris O'Grady obviously it paid off with the equaliser straight away but what was the thinking there because obviously with Montel and Dempsey going off was there injuries there or was it a tactical thing? No it was just tactical uh, Dempsey he, he may have broken his wrist so uh, I just thought we needed someone to get on the ball uh, and, and Trokey he, he's so comfortable with the ball so and he made an impact he, he come on like we do ask of all the subs he delivers the ball for Chris O'Grady to go and score so then Ollie comes on and he could have made that impact as well but unfortunately he just keepers made a good save and he just couldn't kill the game off. Um, very early in your managerial career, can we call that an early masterstroke with Chris O'Grady scoring his first touch of the ball? You must have been a bit satisfied with that one. Oh, we was delighted. Well, everyone's delighted because Chris works so hard. Uh, so, with a bit of luck now, his confidence is building and growing and, and uh, hopefully we can see more goals come from Chris because I think we all know I've played with Chris twice through my career and I know the, the job that he can do. So, he just needs to believe in himself and, and be really confident in himself. If you take the penalties out of the equation on Tuesday, obviously an unbeaten run is forming here at the moment, which I suppose is a good thing um, at, at the moment. If it, the, the, the cup tie was lost, but it was it was a draw. Yeah, Proving, being hard to beat is clearly going to be one of the main aims, and then perhaps turning these into three points. Yes, I think I've always said it. I think if you can win your home games and, and get points on the road, you, you'll be fine. So you don't have to go and win every away game. But I think if we look at it from when me and Ben took over, we've took four points from six available so one against Col uh, three points against Colville one here today so I think we'd have all took that to start with now we've just got, got to pick up on our home form and I've just said that in the changing room to the lads and, and on that note a quick turnaround for Stratford on Tuesday then a bit of a break after that is that going to be quite welcome given the, the way the game to come thick and fast yes definitely mainly because of the extra time uh, on Tuesday night so it, it's uh, it will be nice to, to have a little break uh, the lads may have an hour training session or something uh, on the Saturday, but it won't be nothing as intense as a game. So, but we've just got to keep keep building on, on what we're trying to do. I think if if we can now go and win Tuesday, it'll be a good start from the first three games. We haven't spoken to you since you were confirmed permanently in the role. So congratulations on that. Um, Thank you. Does it change anything for you, or is it was, was kind of in your head? Were you planning in a way for that anyway? And, and obviously now you can. No, nothing changes because we'd prepare the team exactly the same uh, as interim or as manager. So to me, that that makes no difference. I think now you get a little bit more of a headache with obviously sorting other things out, which is part and parcel of the job. Obviously, letting players uh, know who you, who you don't want to stay and stuff like that, or who would like to move on. So that that's never nice, but that's part and parcel of being in the job and being, being a manager, isn't it? So it's just something we have to deal with.